Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for your time today. So anyway, what you see behind me, it is a concept, prototype, whatever you want to call it. And the final production version of this vehicle, <laughs> it's god awful. It's, it's the worst and Subaru apparently has been doing this shit for years every time they show an amazing looking concept and or an amazing looking prototype or whatever the final production version of that said vehicle looks like complete trash there's no doubt about it that Subarus are a <laughs> well-engineered vehicles especially when it comes to off-roading and I've owned one myself too and I love that car like the off-roading the power the all-wheel drive Everything about that car is amazing. The way that it sounds the, from that rumble. Mm, yes, it's an amazing vehicle. But when it comes to design, and I wish they would bring back the hatchback because that was my favorite. And I had a hatchback too. I think it was a 2013 hatchback. And I thought they were going to do a refresh for another hatchback. But then they ended up just killing the hatchback all in. Yeah. And then what happened was the stock of the old hatchback started actually rising up. So hopefully... Um, Subaru will con consider bringing the hatchback to the WRX STIs, I hope, but, you know, whatever. So anyway, um, Car Scoops has this article that says four times Subaru pulled a bait and switch with its Impreza and WRX concepts. So let's go ahead and check that out. It's a nice article and I will be leaving a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. And I just put this one in the background. Um, I know you can't see it, but. I put the vehicle in the background because that was one of their best looking prototype. I mean, I love that prototype and I was super excited. And then the production version happened and complete disappointment. Yep. So let's go do this. Okay, so here we are. So let's start off with the 2010 Subaru Impreza design concept versus 2013 Subaru Impreza sedan. So here's it. I mean, it's not bad looking, but but the, oh Jesus, yeah. Hmm. I mean, even those rims are pretty sick. But I think all this is non-functional, so that's why they gave you this horrendous looking thing. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, uh, uh, eesh. 2012 Subaru Impreza sedan. And this is the 2012. Oh, it's, I'm sorry. This is the backside of that same vehicle. And the backside, as you can see, the prototype, that looks pretty dope. Um, fake vents, but, you know. But this is what you actually got. Anyway, there's a ton more examples coming. Subaru Impreza, the BRX concept versus 2015, 2013. That's the one. Man, if they made this, I don't know. If they made it now, I would, I don't know. I don't know. Financially, if I was good, I, I might. But so this is what you get. You got this nice looking wide stance and the way that car sits, the, like, I dig it. Like the wide stance, lower looks good but this is what you got instead come on subaru come on that's not even close they couldn't even keep the damn grill <laughs> just just mm, just the grill oh and then it's just not not even close to the, the maybe the the side marker is right here that's it but Nothing is kept from this prototype or concept car. Nothing, nothing is kept at all. Oh, not even the rims. The rims are sick. Those Brembo brakes are sick. They could have made this an STI. And, but. Look at that. That's beautiful. I love it. Subaru concept. But that's what you get. You get this. Uh, uh, um, mm. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. This is the, uh, what is this? This is an Impreza 
2015 Impreza five doors concept, and this is what you got. E at least they kept that. They kept that right here. That's nice, right? And then they changed this up a little bit here. I don't know why they couldn't make this work. Um, hold on. But yeah, they could have they could have made it work, but regulations and everything is pretty much different in every country. Um, United States has different regulations than the European, vice versa. You know, there's certain things that they have to have on their vehicles. Um, maybe they couldn't make it work, but damn it. Why don't you, here's an idea. It's a million dollar idea, okay? Subaru, you ready? If you're watching this video, you're probably not. But if you are watching this video, here's a million dollar idea. A billion dollar idea. Don't fucking make concept that you can't put into production. Like design your car so it will be ready for production. Don't just spend all this money on concept and then you give us this piece of shit looking car. You know, design exactly with every regulations in mind. Don't just go crazy and then not even copy a single tiny thing from the from your freaking concept vehicles. Don't do it. Just design it so where it meets the regulations so then you can just go into production and your production ready. Or if not, just have it so where you can change a few things here and there. Um, but other than that, you know, what's... <sighs> just a suggestion, you know, just make your car concept production ready so you literally don't have to change a lot of things. You can change minor things here and there. But, you know, not just a huge drastic change like what we have here. Like, this looks pretty amazing. I like the rear. It looks very um, minimalistic. And then you have this obnoxious looking thing. Yeah. <sighs> Subaru, Subaru, Subaru. So this is another one, 2015 Impreza. And then you have the 2017. Look, I mean, it's it's okay. This is even uglier. <laughs> I like a tiny little mirror, but that wouldn't work. But yeah, that, yeah. Hmm. Ugly in here, up in here. See, clean, ugly, clean, ugly. But hey, that's just my opinion for all you Subi um, owners there. I apologize if I'm bashing on your vehicles. I am a Subi fan too. I love Subaru, but I just feel like when it comes to design concepts, they make amazing looking concepts. But when it comes to production vehicles, it looks like shit. I know you guys agree with me. I know you do. And it can be frustrating. Just like this prototype that they put out looks nice, elegant, futuristic. But none of that shit is going to stay. Not even close. Even by this, they're already keeping the same style. Like if you go to like the older model, 2013, 15. Um, ah, I think I went too far. Did I go too far? Let me see. Uh, I think this one right here. It seems like they're keeping that same style here with the hood but i could be wrong but from the photo or of the production ready 2022 wrx you can kind of see uh you can kind of see it right here in the front just a little bit a smidge it looks like the 2013 to be honest you know but anyway let me know what you guys think um oh and i also have the type r here so this is the type r concept and guess what they didn't have to change a lot of things. This car is what we have. Everything here is what you have. And I loved the wrap that was on this vehicle so much that I wrapped my car the same thing. Gun metal or something like that. Um, but yeah, literally like everything about the prototype looks exactly like the production version. Why couldn't Subaru do something like that? Huh? Literally like... The type R you see here, the prototype, that's what we got. That's what I have in the garage temporarily. But anyway, that's my little rant. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And as always, you guys have yourself a very lovely day. Okay, I'm out.